Hello everyone, welcome back to Into Sports. I'm your host Evan. If you're new, please click that subscribe button. I'd appreciate it so much. But today we're talking about Russell Westbrook, John Wall, trade. Russell Westbrook goes to the Washington Wizards in exchange for John Wall and a 2023 first round draft pick. And I have two takeaways from this deal. And they're very simple. Number one, James Harden can't get along with other stars. And number two, (laughs) Russell Westbrook can't get along with other stars. Let's start with Harden. First, it was CP3. Then a year later, you trade for Westbrook. Then a year after that, you trade away Westbrook for John Wall. It's almost like he's having teammate tryouts, playing musical chairs at point guard. That doesn't win. Is he really that hard to deal with? That he can't hold a teammate for more than a year? He has to find a new point guard every year? That's not winning basketball. That doesn't reflect well on the part of James Harden, who possesses the ball a lot and takes a lot of shots. Teammates, I guess they just can't deal with that. And for Russell Westbrook, ultimately, he's a solo act. Really entertaining. Won't play on a great team. He'll stuff the stat sheet. He'll look great on the highlights. But ultimately, winning basketball, playoff runs, eh, it's not happening. And for these two, if you can't get along with another star, it's going to be an uphill climb to a championship. Think about the most recent dynasty, the Golden State Warriors. Well, they had four stars. Steph Curry, Kevin Durant, Klay Thompson, Draymond Green. And that worked because they were able to have cohesion. They were able to work together for multiple years. And then ultimately, you know, Kevin Durant, Draymond Green kind of butted heads at the end. That's probably why they broke up, but you get along for a few years and you can you can do some serious winning if you have multiple stars. But these guys, they can't get along with stars enough to actually win games in the playoffs. Let's look at this trade from the Wizards perspective. I still think there are eight teams better in the East. The Nets, the Bucks, Miami Heat, who just went to the finals. Celtics are always good. 76ers reshuffled Raptors of course Pacers and I'll throw in the Atlanta Hawks they ha- they didn't made a lot of moves in the offseason Trey Young he'll put up a lot of points he'll shoot a lot of threes he's that's Steph Curry protege I think today they're better than the Wizards you gotta remember Russell Westbrook's teams always underperform their talent levels OKC Houston Never got out of the first round without Kevin Durant and OKC. Then, one year he plays with James Harden. They get out of the first round barely, but he doesn't play well at all in the playoffs. And they fizzle out to the Lakers. And are we sure it's going to be that smooth with Bradley Beal? Didn't work with Harden. Didn't work with Durant. That's why he left. It got ugly at the end. I'm not sure Westbrook and Beal is going to be a great fluid combination. Now let's look at it from the Rockets' perspective. (laughs) I don't understand this deal at all. Has John Wall ever been better than Russell Westbrook? Ever in his whole career? And John Wall just came off two major injuries for a guy that relies on his athleticism and explosiveness. Can't really shoot it, so he's not going to be able to fall back on that. Klay Thompson injured. I can deal with that because he can just stand there and shoot. John Wall needs to be dynamic, explosive, athletic. Okay, but you get a 2023 first round pick. But guess what? That's lottery protected. Meaning it cannot be in the first 14 picks. Did you see the NBA draft this year? There's going to be about, what, maybe 10 starters? And then you're picking in the second half if it's lottery protected? That's not worth a lot. But whenever there's a trade made, NBA, NFL, whatever... And I don't really understand it. I try to think, what's the motivation? What's the rationale? What's the reasons, potentially, why a team is going to do this? What could be going on behind the scenes that we don't know yet? Well, first of all, I I have two ideas. Two reasons why the Rockets potentially did this. Number one was the Harden-Westbrook relationship just a lot worse than we all thought. That's very possible. Could they just completely not get along? Westbrook requested a trade. Harden maybe didn't want Westbrook there and wanted to play with his third point guard in the last three years. 
the second potential reason the Rockets made this trade, in my opinion, is they're going to trade Harden and blow it up. And they say, eh, we'll give you bad contract for bad contract. We'll give you Westbrook for John Wall. But we're going to walk out of it with a first round pick. Are they going to go all Sam Presti, Oklahoma City Thunder? We're just going to complete blow it up, rebuild, get all the picks we can salvage. That's a potential possibility. Because are they really going to go in the season with just Harden and no other star? And just be the seventh seed or whatever? Actually, I don't know if they can be the seventh seed. Because I think there's potentially seven teams better. So they'd be the eighth seed. Lakers, Clippers, Nuggets, Suns, with Chris Paul revamped. Warriors, even without Thompson. Curry's back. The Mavericks. And then I think the Jazz are still potentially better than the Rockets. That one I'm not as sure of. But the Rockets, they're a low-end playoff team. Do you really expect John Wall, who hasn't played in two years, had two major injuries? Guys who, who is reliant on his athleticism, explosiveness, getting older, and he can't shoot it very well? Do you expect John Wall to be a big-time piece alongside Harden? Hmm, I don't. So I don't think either team is going to be all that good. And I, I don't really understand the John Wall love from Houston. I think they might blow it up. Just try to escape with the first round pick. So I guess what I'm saying is the Wizards win this trade, but not convincingly, just because I don't understand it from the Rockets' perspective. Are you expecting John Wall to be, you know, top 30 player in the league? I definitely can't expect that. The days of athletic plays and 25 points, 10 assists, those days are long gone, in my opinion. I don't see him being the player he was. He doesn't have that jump shot to fall back on. And that pick that the Wizards are giving away is lottery protected, so they're not going to be giving up a top 14 pick. I guess the Wizards win, but I have my doubts about them even being a playoff team this year. I don't think they make it. I think the Hawks are a little better. But here's what I do know. James Harden and Russell Westbrook don't get along with other stars. And you can't win a championship without another star.